Hi everyone, my name is Nora Fideni Izahuddin bin Norizam. I'm from B8 1185A. Today, we're going to present to you guys about the defamation case review between Lin Guang Ng and Raja Petra Kamarudin. But before we start, let me introduce to you my group members. Hi, my name is Zenoon Shahira Binti Shamso. I'm from B8 1185A. Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nura Kalila Binti Muhammad Zuisa and I'm from BA1185A. Assalamualaikum and peace be upon you. My name is Putra Arifah Binti Matsai and I am 21 years old. I'm from Putra Sangar and I am from group BA1185A. Alright, so for the background of this case, Lin Gua Eng, a former of Pulau Pinang Chief Minister, has filed a lawsuit against Raja Petra Kamaludin, a blogger. Lim Gua Eng is seeking the measures over a series of articles titled From the MSCC Files, which was published on Raja Petra blog's name Malaysia Today. The article is about a corruption case investigated by the MSCC, which is stand for Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission on Pulau Pinang. For the plaintiff in this defamation case is Guang Eng, a member of Parliament for Pagan State Assemblyman for Ai Putih. He is the fourth Chief Minister of the State of Penang. He is also the Secretary General of the Malaysian Democratic Action Part. BAP completed a clean sweep all of 19 Penang state seats it contested in the 12th Malaysian General Election. He is buried together to get Cheng, State Assembly person for Kota Laksamana. They have four children. Lim contested for the Bagan parliamentary seat and the IPT state seat in the 2008 general election on March 8, 2008. He won the Bagan seat with a 22,070 vote margin against Song Choi Lang and the IPT seat with a 4,061 vote margin against Tan Yuki Cheng. Mr. Lim has put clean leadership and good governance at the heart of his administration since becoming the fourth chief minister of Penang in 2008. Pinning has managed to hold the previous gradual decline and is back on pace as Malaysia's top state, thanks to the competency, accountability, and transparency government. For the defendant, in this defamation case is Raja Petra Kamaruddin. He is a Malaysian blogger who runs the Malaysia Today website, which has a history of posting contentious views and articles on Malaysian politics. The letters RPK are occasionally used to refer to him, Currently, he is based in Manchester, England. He married Marina Ali Binti Abdullah in 1973 and they have five children together. Raja Petra started working as a rice distributor and motorcycle dealer when he was 22 years old, bringing Yamaha and other Japanese motorbike brands to the country and supporting his mother and three siblings. He was also a key figure in the Parti Keadilan National which is now called Parti Keadilan Merdia. And it is a information about court and judges. As we know, all cases that take place has been conducted in court and have lawyers and judges for a case to try for this case assignment, which is Lee Guang In, a former Penang chief minister, and Raja Petra, a blogger. This case took place at the Kuala Lumpur Courts Complex. For your information, the judge for this case is Yang Arif Puan Rohani, 59 years old and who was also born in Kedah, have served as a judge, deputy register and season court judge before being appointed as judicial commissioner on 27 March 2070 while on 25 March 2020, she was appointed High Court Judge. According to research made through the Star article, date Friday, 28 February 2020, the lawyer presenting Lin Guan Eng was called Yuan Lin. And more interestingly, according to this article, Judge Yan Arif, Kwan Rohani Ismail gave Lin Guan Eng the verdict against Raja Petra. It is because the blogger did not oppose the suit. Alright, now we move on to the type of defamation. Defamation basically about the publication of a statement which affects a person's reputation that it tends to lower him in the estimation of right-thinking members 
of society generally by making them shun or avoid him uh, there are three types of defamation based on what we have learned okay the three types of defamation are libel slander and innuendo okay uh, for this case uh, we done some of observation and we can categorize this case as a libel libel is a defamatory statement that is being made in the permanent form it is a false statement publicized in permanent form which tend to expose a person to hatred ridicule or contempt it can be made in writing printing pictures or some other permanent form such as broadcasting of words by radio for example uh, it is not necessary for the plaintiff to prove actual damage as it can be proved with the statement being made in permanent forms it can be crime as well as a tort okay for example uh, in this case Raja Petra Kamaruddin has published the article and it can be proved for Lim Gua Eng to sue Raja Petra Kamaruddin because it is a permanent form now I'm going to explain to you guys on what is the waste of defamatory statement being made in the case the defamatory statement that we use is writing so, what is actually meant by writing? Writing is the publishing of untrue statement by writing it down or printing on a surface by producing words, letters or numbers that give necessary information or meaning. From the report, we can interpret that the use of writing defamatory statement is being highlighted as the waste of defamatory statement being made. The former opinion Chief Minister Lin Wang Ying, quoting a judgment in default JID against blogger Raja Petra Kamarudin over the articles alleging corruption in another sea tunnel project by the state government. Lim filed a defamation claim on September 6, 2019, seeking damage, a front page apology, and an injunction to prevent Raja Petra from repeating his charges, which appear in a series of story headlines from the MACC files. The DVC's pieces were published in February and March 2019 on Raja Petra Major Studies website. Raja Petra claimed that the Authority General Chambers, the MACC, and Pakatan Harapan leaders had concluded together to cover up bribery regarding the Penang Underwater Tunnel. He further asserted that the bribery had been paid to Lim and other Pakatan officials in order to close the case. The plaintiff claims that the alleged utterance have hurt his character, reputation, and good name by disparaging him in his public office, vocation, and profession. The plaintiff's reputation has been severely tarnished as a result of the defamatory claims made in the side articles. Thus, the plaintiffs have been revealed to humiliation, scorn, odium, or contempt, and public disgrace. The plaintiff contests that he had experienced a misfortune and losses in consequence of the defendant's wrongful and unjustified act of defamation. Finally, as a result of this case, we find that former finance minister Lee Guan In had won the case and was awarded 300,000 in damage in his defamation suit against blogger Raja Petra for 10 articles on the Penang Underwater Tunnel project worth 6.3 billion. Not only that, the court also ordered the defendant Raja Petra to pay interest of 5% per annum of the said amount calculated from the day or uh, the order was filed on the 6 September uh, 2019 and until the amount is settled. The plaintiffs also got a default judgment against the defendant last year after the blogger Fly 2 entered his court appearance. The case is dismissed.